Hi everybody, welcome to another Charlie and Me. I'm Aaron, Charlie's down there uh, supervising. We're gonna talk about TV systems. We have a TV system in the camper. It's a 12 volt TV and DVD, uh, but we've never been able to get reception from the aerial. Uh, it's a fantastic aerial system, I believe. We have seen other people using it and we've just never got it to work for us. So I think on Facebook or on some website, I saw this advertised. And the girl, you see her taking it out and sticking it behind the telly, plugging it into telly, and she's got TV channels to beat the band. And it says, new, discreet, versatile design. So I said, you know what? Let's send away for it. And I'm gonna show you what we get, okay? So this is what we got in the box, okay? And on the TV, the lady just stuck it up behind the big TV and it worked. She has this. We'll just put all this stuff out of the way. It does say caution when handling. This was the aerial. She stuck it up behind the TV. It has a, a sticky thing. Plugged this into the back of her television and hey presto, channels within seconds. I tried it. It didn't work. I went back onto the website. You have to get this little amplifier. Now, the amplifier looks like this. It's got a USB port, it's got an aerial port, it's got another aerial port. And I'm going, oh my God, no instructions, just a beautiful box. In our last camper, we had a TV. It worked, it was a Serview TV. It picked up all the Irish channels, depending on where you were. But then when we bought this TV, it came with a television, which I'll show you now. This is our TV press. And in here was a 12 volt TV and DVD. Great, we've been watching DVDs on it to beat the band, but we're getting no TV signal. I think I did once. So today we're gonna to try this new system. I've got 12 volt power in here. I've got two or three little powers in here. I have 220 power. Um, just for this demo, I'm going to stick the aerial just onto this, plug it in and see what happens. So let's do that. So I've just noticed on this little power pack, the uh, 12 volt is a USB. I don't have a 12 volt USB, so I'm going to have to try and squeeze that over to here where I have a 12 volt power point. And we'll see how that goes. So let's just... Um, I think we have to connect this to the aerial, like so. We connect the aerial into the TV, which will be in there, like so. And then this needs to, I hope it'll reach to just over here. So excuse me for standing in front of the camera for a second. And it does, because the little green light is on. Maybe if I take this off the stand. There we go. And, uh, so I have this powered in here. I have the other side of that going into the back of the TV. I now need to stick the aerial up here temporarily and then turn on the TV. I just peeled off a little bit of the 3M tape because uh, it's pretty sticky stuff and I don't want to leave a residue. So TV goes green, I'll turn that light off there. Please wait. I'm going to be honest, I'm not expecting this to work. Source, because it's trying to load a DVD from the other night. So let's see. Um, source. Digital TV, you can see. <laughs> Installation failed. So let's go analog TV. Five minutes, still nothing. I'm just reading through the instructions and it says that if the reception is spotty, move the antenna closer to a window, but you have to reinstall again. Uh, it also says and bear in mind, if you've just bought the aerial and you're reading the instructions for the first time, 
to boost your antenna strength, we suggest you get an amplifier sold separately. Thankfully, I have some uh, videos or DVDs and look, he's not even holding out much luck. Okay, what happened? Let's see. Nothing. So, needless to say, I'll be oceaning eight or Johnny Englishing it or watching the end of Peaky Blinders because this is not working. That's $30 I'm not going to get back. If you've used it, if it's working for you, I'm not going to throw it in the recycling just yet. Let me know in the comments below. So it looks like myself and Charlie are going to be watching DVDs tonight. Um, I would love a satellite system, but they're like from 1100 quid up. Maybe I'll get one sponsored or Charlie and me. From Charlie and me, our TV disaster. Hi guys, since recording this video about the HCTV antenna, which is this thing here, which I purchased online and then purchased this little power unit online as well. Well, since recording the video you just watched, um, I've done a little bit more research because it just, it just didn't work. And I came across um, a couple of different forums. One of them starts off by saying, greed is very dangerous. And it can lead you into many troubles, even death, when good people are warning that the whole thing is a scam and a fraud and it doesn't work. Others are still making their way to purchase this item, this item. It goes on to say, no, another forum said, um, this is abuse of online marketing and businesses are making other genuine businesses collapse because of this. Another one says, I got mine and it does not work. It's a scam. Unfortunately, I fell for it. So did I. Another one goes on to say, don't buy this, it's a scam. And the final one says, it's a fake, don't buy it. I don't know if it's a scam. I don't know if it's a fake. I do know it didn't work for Charlie and me, our camping vlog. I tried it whilst out in the shed. I tried it while in Blarney on a campsite. And I tried it just outside the house, just to give it different, well, to give it a go. It doesn't work. It didn't work for us. Anyway, I just wanted to throw this in as a footnote because I found all these people saying, it's a fake, don't buy it, it's a scam. Hope it's helped somebody out and I hope you didn't buy it. If you want and we meet up, I'd gladly give it to you and you can try it out and prove me wrong. It didn't work for me, but a lot of people are saying it's a scam. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.